Hey, what's up, you guys? I pray that you guys are continuing to persevere. As always, I'm praying that this persevering nugget is going to bless you in a major way. I'm dealing with relationships today, meaningful, cherishing, loving relationships, being involved with an individual that loves you just as much as you love that individual. And so therefore, I want to show you something from the word of God and some things that God has given me. Check this out. You deserve to be in a loving relationship. Everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves to be deserves to be with someone that's going to bring happiness and fulfillment to who they are. And it's a lot of people out there that are longing for that, but they're not receiving that. And you first must look at yourself and ask yourself what it is that what is it that I need? Check this out. I looked at Proverbs 20 and 13 and it has a and it has a, a, a pretty good twist to it. It says, don't love sleep. I'm going to deal with that for in a, in a minute, but I want to read the verse. Don't love sleep or you will become poor. Open your eyes and you'll have enough to eat. It says, don't don't love sleep. Sleep represents a lack of direction. You know, you know what I'm saying? No mobility. Sleep, sleep. When someone is asleep, he or she is not doing anything, even though they may be portraying to be. And so therefore, if someone out there, you have fallen in love in, in, in a sleeping relationship, there is no direction. There is no guidance. There is no security. There is no there is no compassion. And you're falling in love with it because you have settled. You have uh, uh, lowered your standard. And that's something that you shouldn't do. Don't fall in love or don't fall. Don't love sleep or you will become poor. You will become poor by you. You become poor by lowering your standards. You see, it's a lot of people out there, man. You're just out there talking. You're telling your girlfriends, oh, he does this and he does this. This my boo. This my future husband. But he is not showing you anything. He's not showing you no direction. He's just coming over to your house, laying up, sleep, eating your groceries and things of that nature. But at the same time, he's not showing you the signs. He's not showing you the direction. He's not even talking about it. And you are, and you're thinking differently because of the longevity don't love sleep or you will become poor okay open your eyes and it says you will have enough to eat you see open your eyes to the things that you see and the things that you see if they don't line up with your standards then you need to evaluate the relationship because you deserve better you de you deserve the things that you will believe in God for so don't love sleep open your eyes open your eyes to the things that you see so you can have the things that you desire to have. God knows exactly what you need, but you can't settle. You have to uphold the standard. You have to demand it and you must require it. And when you do that, it says you will have enough to eat. You will have enough to live. You will have enough to enjoy. You will have enough because you're not settling. Don't fall in love with a sleeping relationship, you guys. I'm telling you, watch it. It's going to bless you in a major way. It may not be comfortable at times, but at the end of the day, if you hold on to your standards, you have what God desired for you to have. You guys be blessed, man. Keep persevering because great things happen when you do.